Whether you call it rose mallow, hearty hibiscus, dinner plate hibiscus, or swamp mallow, this perennial is an excellent choice to brighten up the summer garden. Grow rose mallow as a focal point in the landscape or as a lush flowering hedge. Even with their tropical look and feel, these plants are surprisingly easy to care for. In fact, the colorful varieties you find at your local garden center are derived from its North American native parent. These native ours combine the excellent traits of its parent with new bloom colors, foliage colors, and varying mature heights, with some growing upwards of six to seven feet tall and some staying shorter at just three to four feet tall. The oversized flowers feature ruffled petals in all shades of pink, red, magenta, white, and bicolor, some with dark centers or intense veining atop leaves that are green to dark wine purple. So if you're looking to try your hand at growing one of these spectacular plants, let's look at the five things you need to know about growing rose mallow. When you see a striking plant like this, you may think you need to live in a tropical region. But believe it or not, this very tough perennial plant is hardy in USDA zones four to nine. It can grow as far north as Wisconsin, down to Southern Texas, and most everywhere in between, including the East Coast, Midwest, and Northwest. So yes, they are cold hardy, despite the large tropical looking flowers and foliage. But this plant can often be confused with its cousin, the tropical hibiscus. When shopping for rose mallow, be sure to double check and confirm you are purchasing the right species of hibiscus for the right location. You will often find the rose mallow in the perennial section of a garden center and not in the tropical greenhouse space. While this plant can do well in most types of soil, they prefer soil that is moist or wet. Given the alternative common name of swamp mallow, this plant is well suited for a moist area on the property where it may be difficult to grow other types of plants. They can even be planted near water features and ponds. For the plant to reach its fullest potential for bloom, provide this plant also with full sun or at least six hours per day. Some of the most common insect pests are attracted to the foliage and flowers of the rose mallow, including aphids, spider mites, thrips, whiteflies, and Japanese beetles. The larvae of the sawfly are especially fond of this plant. They are very tough to see, but if you look closely, an army of small green caterpillars will be feasting on both the upper and lower leaves, resulting in lacy foliage. You can handpick the pests or spray them off with a stream of water. They can create an extensive amount of damage quickly, so control of these insects is crucial. This is one of the last perennial plants to emerge from the ground in the spring. Some varieties may wait until the end of May or early June to begin growth. Even though they are late to break dormancy, their vigorous growth rate makes up for their late arrival. Cut the plant back to just a few inches above ground in early spring before the new growth appears. The stems will be somewhat woody, so a strong pair of loppers or even a small pruning saw may be needed. The tropical looking flowers of the rose mallow last only one day or two, but are quickly replaced by new blooms. If you are tempted to cut a bouquet of these exquisite flowers, don't. They are not suited for life in a vase. The dinner plate sized flowers, even though they are short lived, are loved by butterflies and hummingbirds. Plus, they're often ignored by grazing deer. Hibiscus is also friendly with other perennial plants that love full sun and moist soil. Mix and match the following plants for spring to fall bloom. For a list of additional companion plants, please check the link in the description below. So now you have the know-how to grow these show-stopping hardy perennials. Let us know in the comments if you will be adding one of these summer bloomers to your landscape. For more information on this plant and other perennials, please visit us at gardeningknowhow.com and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.